ITEL BPO continues to expand its operations in St. Lucia, having opened its doors on the 15th of July 2020 with 30 employees. The business now employs some 400 St. Lucians. Featured in the program In the Know, produced by the Office of the Prime Minister, founder and chief executive officer Yoni Epstein explained that the company has been working with Invest in Lucia to expand even further. The business is already outfitting another facility and is looking to increase its staff complement to 1,200. With the second building, we're, we're coming up close to about 700 employees on the ground. With the additional 30,000 square feet, we want us to be, to be closer to about 1,200 employees here in St. Lucia. Okay. Uh, we love the South. We'd have, we, although I love the North, we don't <laughs> have any intentions to go to the North. I mean, we, we feel very confident of being in this campus-like uh, facility. Um, in the second building we just finished building a canteen um, as well too and I'm told that the caterer is going to take over on the 1st of June and um, that will just really make life a lot easier for our team members and everybody to be in one one area and we enjoy the south. It's it's easy to get in and out of from our perspective as as well as the quality of staff that we're seeing in the south are, are great and and it's you know from a i understand from a transportation perspective those that are coming from outside of the south have a fairly easy way to get here as well so you know it's been a great partnership it's been a great marriage thus far and um we're going to continue growing in saint lucia i tell bpo was able to hire new employees who had lost their jobs in other sectors including the tourism sector due to the covid 19 pandemic epstein noted that saint lucian employees have exceeded expectations thus far Every country that we're in has their, their uniqueness. Um, and I would say what we've seen with St. Lucia so far is we're seeing greater productivity. Um, we're seeing lower absenteeism and lower attrition than some of our traditional countries that we operate in. And, and to me, um, you know, that just says a lot for going back to our four whys, the quality, mm -hmm. right? quality of staff are producing as good or better than you know more senior sites so that means that they actually have more to gain yeah right when you think about reliability you know we're we're confident they're going to be coming to work because we see our attrition lower we see our absenteeism lower um you know when you think about integrity um you know we're, we're not having to worry about certain aspects of potential fraud or cyber crime or things like that here in in, in saint lucia and then family, they've, I mean, we are, we're coming up June, uh, July 15th last year is when we, we opened the site officially. Mm -hmm. um, so we're coming up on a year in St. Lucia and they've just, you know, immersed themselves into the family culture as if they've been here for years. The founder and CEO indicated that the plan has always been to expand, hiring new staff and increasing clientele. Some aspects of this plan were fast-tracked due to the COVID-19 pandemic, which has affected business operations the world over we went out to a few clients we set a target we said you know within the first year let's attempt to get to 200 employees and we weren't really sure how the client take up was going to be because although i may believe saint lucia has what it takes our clients also have to believe that it has what it takes because they're taking a gamble mm -hmm. as we know it is an industry that has been here for some years yes. there is experience in it however um it's not widely known mm -hmm. um so our clients took a gamble with us and basically because of the, the, the power of our brand um, and I tell saying to them, you got to try St. Lucia, come with us, test it out, let's right. see. Um, they said, you know what, it's worth it. We want to expand our footprint. We want some country redundancy. We trust you guys. You guys have done great work for us. Let's go. And as we started on that, that journey of going to different clients, and I think also the, the pandemic actually helped to fast mm -hmm. forward that because people wanted more and more redundancy there was you know different protocols in uh, depending on the country you went to there was lockdowns because of what was happening in a particular country or a, in a major city um, so this gave them greater coverage founder and chief executive officer of itel bpo yoni epstein